I'm White Coleman III. I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana, where I have an ophthalmology practice. Yeah, yeah, it's a good pace. We're up there on Kilimanjaro, getting ready to do the first fundus photography ever done on the top of Kilimanjaro. If you've been to the ophthalmologist's office, you probably had your picture taken by a camera that's set on a stand and maybe a room by itself connected to a computer. This is the first device that is really affordable to almost anyone, anywhere, to be able to capture a picture of the back of the eye. This ophthalmoscope allows you to get a wide field view of the back of the eye through an undilated pupil, which is unique because a typical ophthalmoscope you would have used on you when you go to your general practitioner's office has about a five degree field of view which allows you to see only the optic nerve and maybe just a portion of it. What the panoptic does is allows you to have a 26 degree field of view so you can actually see the macula which is the center of your vision where your clear vision comes from and your optic nerve. Both important things in the back of the eye at once. We're sitting at 15,000 feet right now and we're headed up to the summit at 19,300 feet. I can't think of a whole lot more remote locations to demonstrate the ability to carry a very, very lightweight, portable, inexpensive device that'll allow us to capture an image of the back of his eye on the summit. We just got here. This is famous air show pilot, Sean D. Tucker. I'm White Coleman. Here we go. I want you to look at Dr. Ralph's head right there. Also, just as a bonus, we're going to transmit that image uh, to an ophthalmologist at Johns Hopkins University who's going to read it live and give us an interpretation. Now, I'm an ophthalmologist. I could do the interpretation, but just to prove the concept that in Sub-Saharan Africa, someone could take a picture of the back of the eye and have it read in the United States of America, I think it'll really demonstrate the concept that, that telemedicine of the retina is now possible on a, on a broad scale. 